So Treb has released the latest sales data. Let's get into it and see what's been happening in the month of April. This is the Mississauga Life. I'm Sean Jaffrey, and this is your market update. Let's start with an overview for the greater Toronto area and see what's been happening in Toronto as a whole. So the average price in Toronto is up 4% compared to the month before. However, it is down 8% compared to the year before. Right now, we're sitting at an average price of $1.15 million. Prices have increased in all segments, detached, semi, freehold, condo apartments. Um, and as far as the transactions go, transactions also are up 9%. Uh, however, they are down 6% compared to the year before. Right now, for the month of April, we had 7,531 transactions. Again, even the transactions were up in all property segments, detached, semi-detached, freehold townhomes, condo apartments. Now let's take a look at what's been happening in the Mississauga housing market. For Mississauga, the average price was up 3.8% compared to the month before, and it was down 8% compared to the year before. The price or the average price in the month of April was at a million seventy six. Similar story in all different categories, detached, semi-detached, um, condo townhouses, condos, except in Mississauga, the condo price or the average condo price actually went up almost 7% month over month. This is a segment we saw kind of like being stable in terms of price. We had huge price jumps uh, in the month of February, a little bit in uh, the month of uh, March. Um, but, uh, you know, the condo segment in Mississauga was kind of stable, but now they've had a 7%, almost 7% jump, 6.7% increase month over month. Uh, they are down in terms of average price compared to uh, the year before, about 7.3%. Transactions too, similar to Toronto, are up 9.9% month over month. Uh, it seems every month progressively the number of transactions keeps going up. Uh, compared to the last year, uh, the transactions are down about 10%. The interesting story here is that uh, prices keep going up. Uh, like we mentioned, the Greater Toronto Area as an overall average, prices were up 4%. Uh, they were up about uh, maybe a point and a half, two percent in the month of March. In February, they were up 5%. So we're seeing a steady increase in average price, and it's happening all across the board. Now, the main reason for this is, well, a lot of people will tell you that the market has kind of sprung back to life. I've been listening to a lot of different uh, gurus, quote unquote, about uh, what's been happening in the market space. Some say uh, the buyers have confidence now because the Bank of Canada is not raising the interest rates anymore. So there's confidence in the market. Other people are saying that these are the buyers who've been waiting in the market for a long time. Uh, and now they just can't wait anymore. They need a place because we know the rental prices are going up. So they've come back to the market as well. The version that makes the best sense to me, that makes the most sense to me is that because of the higher interest rates that we've had for the last little while, a lot of people just are not entering the market. I'll show you what I mean. So if you just take a look at the year over year summary for the month of April, it shows us that in 2023, we had 7,500 sales and in 2022, we had 7,900 sales. So we had slightly more sales last year in April. However, when it comes to the new listings, last year in April, we had 18,000 listings. This year in April, we had 11,000 new listings come to the market, simply meaning that we have a 20-year low when it comes to inventory. And naturally, when the supply is low, the prices tend to go up. So simply put, if nothing changes, if we don't get more inventory into the market prices, uh, there is an upward pressure on average price. The price is going to continue to go up uh, and we'll see, you know, the usual multiple offers selling in a couple of days, quick turnaround time, all that sort of stuff that you expect in a hot market. Now let's get to my segment, which I like to call what else is happening. So the Bank of Canada announced on April 12th that its overnight lending rate will remain at 4.5% which is why uh, a lot of people are kind of locking in their interest rates for fixed mortgages two to three years. This was a second hold since they started increasing rates a year ago. Inflation has started to lower. Latest data remains in line with the expectation that inflation will come down to around 3% in the middle of this year. Prime remains at 6.7%. Although headline inflation has come down, we've talked about this before, that core inflation still kind of remains stubborn. Sotheby's International reports that in Toronto, Q1 2023, sales of luxury homes priced $4 million and higher fell 64% from the first quarter of 2022. Transactions of houses above a million also slowed, declining 57% over last year. 
Only one home over $10 million changed hands versus eight last year. Such a pity. Statistics Canada reports national annual inflation rate dropped to 4.3% last month, meaning it now sits at its lowest level since August 2021. Said inflation had fallen by nearly a full percentage point over February when it came in at 5.2% in a sign that rate increases are working. I guess they are working. They're working too well. Now the average prices are jumping up. RBC's annual home ownership poll, 53% of parents and others close, other close family members now less willing to help their children or other relatives with that down payments. Only 22% will give an immediate family member or their child money for a new home, a four point decline from last year. Now let's talk about forecasts. What are people or institutions forecasting for real estate when it comes to the prices and just real estate in general this year and later down the road. So Royal LePage is forecasting that the average price of a home in Canada will increase 4.5% in the fourth quarter of 2023 compared to the same quarter in 2022. This revised forecast anticipates an earlier than expected boost in activity in major housing markets across Canada. That was Royal LePage's forecast. The Canadian, State, the Canadian Real Estate Association, rather, uh, or Korea expects average price of home to end the year 4.8% lower than 2022, but says prices will rise by 4.7% in 2024. Average price of $670,000 this year and $702,000 next year. That's Canada wide, not in Toronto, obviously. For C's home sales falling 1.1% to 492,000 units this year, and then rising 13.9% to 561,000 sales in 2024. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video.